Hey guys, it's James here, and today I'm going to be doing my initial review of a shoe that I've just managed to get my hands on, I've been running in a couple of months, and that is the Mountain Racer from Topo, or the MTM Racer, if you really want to be pedantic. So I've had this shoe for a couple of months now, I'm just still breaking it in run-wise, so I'm just going to do a little video today of my initial thoughts of the shoes, some of the features of the shoes that made me pick these up, and what I think of them really, what they might be useful for, some strengths and some weaknesses. So let's jump right into that now. So, the Mountain Racer from Topo is Topo Athletic's kind of lightweight but rugged, uh, fast and firm shoe made for long days out on the hills and for really roughing it in a variety of terrains. It works on a 5mm drop from heel to forefoot, um, which is a slightly larger offset than I usually run in. I run in a lot of Ultra shoes, which are zero drop, um, a lot of Innovates, which you know tend to be up to about 4mm. Um, but one thing I found with the mountain races is although you technically got a 5mm drop, um, with the way this forefoot kind of bends up and with the general lightness and the stableness of the platform, it certainly doesn't feel like you're up and you're rocking about from side to side. You feel quite grounded and you feel quite close to the trail. The shoe has Topo's signature wider forefoot at the front here, um, so you know it's wide right up to the toes here. So you've got plenty of room for your toes to display when you're running and you're not going to suffer from as many blisters with your toes rubbing the sides of the shoes. It does have a more kind of dialed in fit on the midfoot here and on the heel so you're not going to be getting your foot slipping around inside which is really useful. The mountain racers have this ripstop upper as the main material which is really really durable um, it can take a little bit of getting used to it feels quite stiff initially compared to lots of mesh uppers from other shoes um, and some people have said that this isn't very breathable they find their feet get really hot in these shoes um, but being in the UK this isn't something I've particularly struggled with so far as we go into summer and into really long runs I'll keep you updated with that but so far not an issue um, you've also got these welded overlays over the top here to give a bit more structure to the shoe and again a bit more resilience and a bit more um, resistance from abrasion from any rocks or roots on the trail. You have these small ports on the side of the shoe here um, which aid in airflow and also drainage. Um, so it's not a waterproof shoe but if your foot does get submerged in a puddle or you're doing any river crossings or anything like that and in theory, these little pots on the side here should let that water back out and let your feet dry up quicker. The Mountain Racers are a fairly lightweight shoe for something that's designed to be rugged and designed to be a protective shoe. Um, the men's come in at 264 grams. Um, this is because the form itself is really quite lightweight and there's not a lot of extra materials here where you can add that weight and really make it feel like a big chunky trainer. It feels like something you want to slip on when you need that protection and you need you know, to be able to face lots of different terrains but you want that lightness and you want that speed as well. One of the main reasons I picked up this shoe and what I've been loving about it so far is that it actually has a Vibram Mega Grip outsole as you can see here um, and it also has 5mm lugs as well which is quite deep for a kind of all round trail shoe. Um, this compound by Vibram is very very sticky and very grippy but it's also really hard wearing you know, if you have to do some road sections, if you have to do rocky sections, it's not going to wear out really quickly, it's not going to wear down and you're not going to lose any of that tread pattern. Um, and the 5mm grip is really, really great. Uh, and for anything up to, you know, really, really deep mud, you're not going to have any issues at all with these. There's just a few other little details which I really like about this shoe. Um, they're not big things, they're not game changers, but you know, they're really useful and make it feel more of a, a premium shoe, if you will. Um, it does have these attachments on the back of the heel here, where you can attach Topo's own gaiter system if you're running you know, in muddy conditions or you're running in dry, dusty conditions to try and keep things out of the shoe. But saying that, um, the tongue of the shoe actually is fully gusseted anyway, so it runs right down the sides on the inside here to keep any you know, debris from the trail from going inside. 
and the tongue itself has a really nice design in that along the top here we have nice padding where you need it across the forefoot so when you're tying those laces down you're not going to get pressure spots on the top of your foot but then it kind of narrows out to a thinner material right up towards the top here which is nice and flexible this is nice because it means that if, when your foot is in the shoe if you're running uphill or you're running on really uneven terrain you're not going to get the tongue digging into your ankle there and causing you problems and I find that really nice there's only a couple of colourways currently available in the Mountain Racer and um, there's this kind of teal and lime version that I've picked up here uh, and there's also a red kind of maroony version with an orange base. The women's version is a slightly darker red, I think they have kind of pink accents but I think it's quite a good looking shoe. I know some people care a lot about how their shoes look, other people don't mind at all but as it goes I think this is fairly stylish. Um, some of Topo's other offerings have looked a little bit old fashioned when it comes to the design and have lacked behind you know, the bigger companies but I definitely think with the Mountain Racer here you know, it's up to standard and it's quite a good looking shoe. So the price of these is something to kind of figure into your decision if you're looking at them. I managed to pick mine up for just over £100 in the UK uh, but I have seen them retailing at £120 or even £140 um, depending which shops you get them from. So they're not super cheap, they're definitely not on the budget end of the shoes, but they are kind of on par with what you'd be paying for an Ultra or a Hawker um, with the same kind of design, you know, of being a protective shoe and being a long run shoe. Just coming back to that protectiveness, one of the things about Torpors is that they work off a slightly firmer midsole than lots of other shoes. Um, they don't have a built in rock plate in these but they really don't need them because the amount of stack height you've got and how firm and responsive that is you're not going to be getting sharp rocks that are jabbing through there and damaging your feet um, there's nice firm ride which feels nice and springy it's got a lot of rebound to it but it is different to say a hawker or an ultra where you've got a really squishy form where it's a bit like cushions on your feet some people do love having those big plush marshmallow midsoles on their trail shoes, all about comfort and softness but personally I prefer something a bit more firm and a bit more responsive on the trail uh, especially if I'm on technical terrain you know I don't want to be moving around in my shoe too much I don't want to do too much give, I want to be able to feel the rocks, I want to be able to feel the roots and you know move my feet accordingly. So I picked these up as I have a couple of long, uh, longer races booked this year, a couple of half marathons on the trail and above I've only just kind of broken them in, I've uh, been wearing them for about two months so I'll definitely do a follow up review when I've broken these in properly and got a good couple of hundred miles on them but so far I'm, I'm really loving them, they're really comfortable from the offset um, they seem to fit my feet really well um, I think with the flexibility in the upper and the general shape of the shoe they, were, you know, they would suit a lot of different foot shapes and a lot of different foot volumes as well um, but you know, the test will come with time as I wear these in, as I wear them for longer and longer runs and check they're so comfy, but so far, so good. So that's it for my first thoughts about the Topo Mountain Racer. Um, really glad I invested in them so far. I have run in a couple of Topos before in their TerraVenture range. Really loved them, wore them for long, long runs and you know, run walks up in the hills. So I think I'm really going to get along with these guys for long days out on the hills taking it fast in rocky terrain, in muddy terrain and really going for it then the Topo Mountain Racer might be the shoe for you. As always keep moving forward and I'll see you out on the trail.